So we'll start with my Rook team, that is obviously the strongest team and the easiest to do 200, over 200 million. Remember, after 200 million damage, the damage goes down significantly, so we can't really do 300 million. Uh, and the boss is way harder. If you're looking for skill description strategies, you can look at my previous videos. But this is the team, basically. And if you don't have Calavera somehow, you can use Ogok. Or if you have a very strong wild team, you might consider putting through buff here and using Calavera in your wild team because this team is easily doing 200 million so you don't need good support but since I'm not going to create a wild team today maybe tomorrow this is what I've used now when it comes to the equipment it's pretty simple there's my one thing that you might consider changing if you don't have chest of radiance or this doesn't provide you with good enough damage you can try pipe organ which will help rook's damage okay uh, so that's one way you can improve it but i mean doing 220 million and 225 million doesn't really matter for me this season uh we need ancestral protection set on on at least one hero in our team so we're gonna use that and obviously solar king horn works really well with poison of swamp which is the best artifact in season four so use both of them if you can we need serial set and we need attack penalty so uh we need to put a little bit of accuracy on Ogok as well. This is very hard fight without debuffs or attack penalty. Um, Rook obviously exclusive artifact. If you don't have exclusive artifact, you can put Poison of Swamp on Rook and put something else on Whisk. There are multiple options that are viable for that as well. And obviously, Dargo with Witches Remain. I'm going to use the undead set the shade of death here because it's fixed on global server so we are constantly getting this 20 percent up because the bosses don't have crit uh so we're getting that if we have above 200 percent crit damage so this is quite vital if you can't get your heroes to 200 percent crit damage consider using different set now we also have access to all these guild buffs that i didn't have on test server so it's really easier to test the skill haste plus 15 changes the timings of our team as our damage dealers despite having 20 seconds cooldown can go 19.7 and start their castings a little bit earlier as well if we could we could reduce it to like 11.7 but as i said this team is just doing pretty fine i don't know why but the best timings working for me are calavera at 31 30 this means that the team doesn't die and we have ogok at 25 and a half sorry 25 and 30 which basically covers the uh, ultimate skill and also um the extra damage so we don't die from it yeah we don't change these timings and the team is doing really good doing over 220 million we're using attack aura and i believe this is pretty much it so let's play this fight and save the, the damage now keep in mind you need to keep watching what your damage dealers are doing because if we got recharge speed penalty at the wrong time we will lose damage right now rook is ahead of whisk so we want to change that that's what you need to do you need to keep your keep an eye on it it's not gonna change the damage output significantly but right now we can see that even dargo is way ahead of the curve but it should be all right as long as we can still use our ultimates before before the defense down disappears to get the benefit from the gloves and it looks good oh wow that was more like it that was a perfect run okay calavera dispelled everything the team didn't desync and we got 220 million and uh, so now my second team percunte orfina and free supports uh 196 million damage i'm going to save that fight and i'll go over the team uh in the window here and the equipment as well um so this is the team i improved this team's uh equipment by well damage by 3 million because i put dow pipe organ instead of chest of radiance chest of radiance is a good choice as well but the idea here is we're going to use fessa Fessa grants us debuff immunity, so that's what we need against this boss. Also, recharge speed penalty, which helps. Damage reduction and damage delay here. What I mean by recharge speed penalty, because I can imagine this question, 
The boss can't be. Uh, the boss's ultimate can't be slowed down, but Richard Speed Penalty is a debuff which helps against the passive of the boss. Now, the most important thing here is granting any buffs or the debuffs will be increased by 20%, okay? So this helps us with Orfina's applying uh, the electrocuted here. And we also use accuracy aura to make sure she does it with low accuracy. And as you can see, 96 plus 24 accuracy. So she's barely got anything. Now let's go over equipment here quickly. As you can see, this is the difference that I've done here. Uh, so we're going to sync it and Dow Pipe Organ instead of chest, or chest of Radiance. So if you get Dow Pipe Organ, you might consider that because we only have ranged heroes that deal damage. And the defense portion of the Chest of Radiance is not necessary. Again, remember, we need this. We need Ancestral Protection set. And I got Garius with low cooldowns as I'm running. A lot of haste on him. And he is casting his ultimate whenever and shielding our team. This way we can survive without attack penalty. Okay, because we don't have attack penalty. Um, which is remain on our ref with serial set and a lot of haste as well to make sure she's on a 15 second rotation and she is the one absorbing the skill that drains the ultimate. And I'll show you how to make well how to avoid it basically. And then we have Orfina with the Great River Lamp, which works really well compared to any other artifact, even Poison of Swamp. Suddenly, this artifact is a little bit better, but I'll do more testing on Poison of Swamp tomorrow, as this will allow me to basically get rid of crit rate and go crit damage whenever I can, although she's got a good crit damage. Now, remember, you need a little bit of accuracy. As long as she applies uh, the Electrocuted at least once, you will be able to keep it on constantly. And Paracunta, obviously, the main damage dealer. Now, the main thing here is Ardref. Ardref is the highest HP in the team, which means the boss targets her with second skill which drains totally drains the ultimate energy we want to avoid that and our art draft is at 14.9 second rotation so if we cast her ultimate before the skill hits us and the skill is cast at 12 seconds but it hits us around 14.7 if we do that we can avoid it totally, okay? So 15 second rotation on the support, if it's possible, you will be able to avoid the, the drain of this. Uh, as I said, Garius, what, uh, whenever at 15 second rotation, because remember, we also get a little bit of haste. It's not possible, but I just left it at 15 seconds because I wanted to try and achieve that. And uh, Fessa or any damage debuff immunity hero, 23 or 23 and a half to make sure we don't have any debuffs on our heroes, okay? 30 second rotation as well. When it comes to damage dealers, we want Orfina on totally auto. We want her to constantly apply uh, um, her debuff so Perkunta's passive goes up and then we cast Perkunta ultimate every 15 seconds with 19.9 .9 seconds um, rotation because that's how much haste I have. And that's the second team, 193 million damage damage here but we went up to 196 million okay so dantless team using evelios farival nastienka asila my newly uh obtained champion and rose i've tried mashtur here as well with mashtur i can do more damage but my rally team is not able to survive if i do that so i need mashtur in my rally team so i save this and let's go over the team timings and equipment as well. Um, so as you can see, 187. So we got a little bit extra here. Um, so as you can, we're gonna use Farival here as Witches Remain Applier with Serial Set. He's still doing not too bad damage. Uh, the main damage will be coming from Evelios. I purchased Queen's Fun today. I leveled it up and we're using Unclean Set with Finality Admonition as we don't really need his ultimate. The damage is not coming from the ultimate. The damage is coming from the passive. And then we have Nastienka with a Dominator's Set and Poison of Swamp. I don't have her exclusive and Carnage Gloves as well. Uh, we're going to use her aura, which is quite good. We're going to have 30% extra attack in battles. Uh, we're going to use Rose here with Chest of Radiance, as this helps also Nastienka, not only Evelios and Farival. If we used Pipe Organ here, only Evelios and Farival would benefit from it. Uh, 
And we used Emissary set here to reduce haste a little bit so she can cast her ultimate uh, right on time when it's needed because she is also the one with the highest HP which means uh, the boss who will drain her energy. And we use Asila here with Horn and Ancestral Protection set and this is how it looks. And then timings. So if you look at the timings, you can see that I'm trying to cast this at 15 seconds as you know it's not gonna happen but what it allows in reality what's gonna happen here is she's gonna cast and 14.6 uh, second here and then at 30 uh, her rotation will be like 30 uh, sorry if we do it at 15 seconds that means the next time she's going to cast her ultimate will be at 33 seconds uh, which means we will be able to cast it again just before the ultimate gets taken the reason why we don't use which is remain on rose is because she is really on 30 seconds rotation and every hour all our other damage dealers are on 20 second rotation so we would be losing a lot of damage and this is why we need farival with that uh which is remain and this team is doing 187 million with few tweaks. Maybe if you have better equipment, because my equipment is terrible this season, you can get to 200 million, or even if you have Nastienka's uh, exclusive artifact. Uh, so yeah, Shadow team with Ozul and Taldi, really, and three supports. I don't really have a good choice. I don't have Gulendal that has attack penalty, but you need some kind of damage reduction here. Even with three supports, it's very hard to survive. Uh, this without shields or attack penalties so 178 million i'm going to save it and we're gonna go over the skill timings and equipment of this team uh quickly i've tried running different team here i've tried reasons uh try tried doing something different uh but it didn't work so i tried to put daphne in but the team just dies okay without persos so we don't have damage reduction and that's what we need so 178 million which is 8 million more than i used uh, my average today and um, ozul is the main damage dealer we're gonna use shadow spawn on him Pro pro probably better than his uh, exclusive artifact dominator set because he's all about the basic attacks and finality um, admission gloves as well to maximize the shadow energy that is not as a penalty another thing that i also could do as uh, we could make Ozul as the highest HP and I've done it with this team and Ozul can absorb the skill that steals energy okay you can do that but for me the simplest and easiest way was this Perseus will use chest of radiance and he will use ancestral protection set we don't really need gloves on him we could probably put the one that will increase his damage with uh, when there's defense damage that will probably increase the damage which i totally forgot to do we don't really need his ultimate as well but we have taldi who will apply which is remain constantly so we don't need uh the conch we could try with conch tomorrow as well that is not an issue uh healers we got astion here with monolith set and moonlight mantle we can make her a 15 second cooldown as well uh, with a lot of haste but it's not necessary we use torin for uh, in debuff immunity, if you have Fia or Gladros or other heroes that can provide that, they will work as well. Uh, I'm using Dow Pipe Organ on him to make sure we get extra attack on Ozul to dish out as much damage as possible. And when it comes to the skill timings, this is why I love Shadow, there's none. We just let them roll and we use Kore, uh, sorry, Torin at 30, 23 and a half. 23 is good as well to make sure we have debuff immunity for all of these debuffs okay so my ice blast team we're gonna use nadia as a main damage dealer and there's a twist here as well so let me save that and i'll walk you through that so there's two variants of my ice blast team um if we go here quickly you will see that i'm using the, the one that i saved with they are very similar when it comes to the damage uh the one that I save with is this one. So when we go to the equipment here, you'll notice that I'm using Shina with Chest of Radiance and Damage Oriented Set rather than what we usually see, which is which is Remain. And the reason for that is I'm going to use Mystic Conch on Fia here on 15 second rotation, which means we'll have over 20 second 
uh, upkeep on defense down on 10 on 30 second rotation instead of 10 second on every 20 second which in theory means we're gonna have more upkeep on defense penalty rather than this and now uh, what's her name Nadia Nadia will use poison of the swamp here as this is one of the best artifacts and we have enough healing coming from uh, Fia here to keep that stacked. Uh, if not, then you can always use something else if you can't get this because this requires quite a lot of haste here as you can see on the runes. I got double runes on uh, double haste on one rune and six haste here. Just basically you need to make sure we have 15 seconds plus we also have uh, the extra haste from from the buffs so yeah 14.9 that's plenty especially with Pelosia granted as a uh, control immunity you could re bring a little bit more haste to Pelosia, especially on the runes to make her go at 90 seconds or even uh, 18 and a half which will be ideal because uh, I'll go over rotation shortly and um, bladen with Dow pipe organ again chest of radiance on Sheena so basically we're boosting all our damage dealers and we have Nadia here. So when it comes to the skill timings, as you can see, we only time the first ultimates because then it doesn't really matter, okay? Uh, the damage from the Ice Blast team is coming through their uh, battle skills. So as long as we can have this, and as you can see, we start at eight and a half with 15 seconds, which is which means the second cast will be at 23 and a half, which is just before the boss applies debuffs on our team so this is why it's essential to have this 14.9 if you don't have controlled immunity but 15 uh sorry and 15 is good when you have controlled immunity which is this uh, obviously the ideal stuff for felosia is a little bit more haste so she can always hit this mark okay and um, she is the one that will take the ultimate down from the boss so we need couple we need like 18 seconds to cast it at 33 and a half which blocks the control from uh the boss first skill and yeah the team is doing over 140 million if you have beldel then obviously you will have beldel instead of bladen or even instead of fenja sorry i mean nadia yeah so yeah my last team uh the weakest one but still better than wild uh as uh, the rally team using mifrasy and mashtur as supports now the issue with this team is they die it's very random okay i can go 80 million or i can go 120 million that's because i don't have better supports uh left okay so since that was the last fight i can't really show you the team but there we go that's the team that's the equipment and um let's go over the equipment quickly mashtur is the one with the highest hp he is taking the hit that reduces his ultimate but he's got skills that help him sustain his ultimate energy so we don't need to worry about it basically we can build enough haste to go to like 17.56 and then utilize that plus the haste buff so we can do 15 second rotation which it works really well with Lorenfield, Huberg and Alton. Now maybe tomorrow I will move my supports around and use a stronger support here rather than in other teams because Mephrasi is not keeping the team alive. However, when they die she resurrects them and we can last seven minutes still able to do 120 million so mifrasi is built with ancestral protection to absorb the damage since we can't really put anything else on master i mean i could try uh put in serial set here and see if that works but that will be another random element added to this fight already so that will take 10 20 tries i mean it, it might be worth it maybe we'll be able to get to 140 million as well now, when it comes to damage dealers, Alton is using the Flute of the King artifact and the Shade of Death set. Uh, Huberk is our second damage dealer and he's using Poison of Swamp as this is one of the best options when you have healers like Mephrasy, who on, he heals quite often plus grants uh, recovery over time. And we have Lorenfield with Downpipe Organ to boost the attack of the range heroes. I tried Chest of Radiance, it doesn't really help because the issue is they just get one-shotted eventually from the ultimate and then slowly drain off the HP. When it comes to skill timings, 
we have 15 second rotation as i said uh first and important is uh mash tour you need to make sure that when he casts his ultimate at 14.7 he can still cast it uh, later on alongside all of your damage dealers as he is the first one to start then we follow with Lorenfiel and the two damage dealers shortly after Mephrasy is here to pro uh, provide us with debuff immunity which prevents the skill of the boss where he applies um, debuff three de random debuffs on our team and that's basically it these are my six teams so let's quickly have another look at the rankings at the moment as i'm barely barely there uh, but everyone is struggling it's not only you it's everyone no one's doing the damage they should as you can see there's only few and that's the biggest whales on my server the, the whales that always do well on this that are able to find multiple multiple teams that can do over 200 million damage i ended up with uh, over 1 billion damage which takes me to rank currently 1052 rank 8 on the server just barely in top 10 but there's probably few more players that will still save their score so i will drop i'm expecting to stay top 20 in the first day i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as always Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.